Hi guys, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. Welcome to our Spring Lawn Renovation Series, Episode 3. If you haven't already, check out Episodes 1 and 2, where first up in our Spring Lawn Renovation, we tackled lawn weeds and thatch. Now that you're on top of the thatch, it's time to look at returning your lawn to optimum health. In this video, we concentrate on helping your lawn to better absorb water and nutrient, which will help to spread and repair areas that may have become worn out or compacted. You can chuck a whole heap of water and fertilizer at a lawn, but if you haven't addressed compaction first, your lawn will continue to struggle. The soil under this grass is really hard. You can tell by just walking over the top of it. When I try to stick this screwdriver in the ground, there's a lot of resistance. If you can't easily get a screwdriver in there, then water, nutrients, and oxygen will also struggle, and these are key components for a healthy lawn. Well, there's a few options, and factors like soil type and level of compaction will determine how aggressive and what equipment you should utilize. For a lawn that only needs a light aerate, where compaction is minimal, you can try giving these aerator sandals a go. The sandals are nice and easy to use, strap them on tightly, and then walk across your lawn, being sure to cover the entire area. If a slightly more aggressive method is required, a garden fork should do the job in most cases. Drive the fork into the soil to around 100 millimetres and wriggle it back and forth to fracture the soil profile. If you have a highly compacted base or need to try and improve the soil base through top dressing, you might want to look at core aeration. Core aeration involves removing a core of soil from the lawn instead of a solid tine. Your first option is a manual corer like this one from the guys at Real Solutions, which we highly recommend. Simply push the tool into the surface and as you remove it, cores will appear. Once the cores have been removed, you can rake them up and dispose of them. Alternatively, you can brush them apart and back into the holes. If the soil profile is heavy clay, like you see here, you might want to look at replacing the cores through top dressing by applying a sandy loam. We will cover top dressing in more detail in one of our next videos. Now your lawn will be much more able to absorb water, oxygen and nutrients, which will help it to repair worn out areas and thicken. This also makes it a perfect time to apply a fertiliser and to top dress your lawn, which we will cover in our next video. Check out the Lawn Solutions Australia website for more helpful lawn care tips and advice, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in to Lawn Solutions Australia, and we hope to catch you next time.